Hey guys, I saw Bear here, and today I'll be talking about the update 0.026 for the game Foxhole. This update is big. It's, it's bigger than big, actually. It's huge. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to notice when you're jumping into the game are the new map icons. These icons are much brighter and much clearer than the previous ones. And in my opinion, they just look better. In addition to town halls, friendly outposts will now be displayed on the map, but I'll get to that in a second. While we're on the subject of maps, two maps have seen some updates. The Endless Shores map has seen an update. It is now much cleaner, and a few roads and some bridges have been added. The second is the Upper Heartlands. This map has seen a major revamp based on player feedback. While it still maintains that whole open feel to it, the devs have now introduced a lot more cover in the form of farmhouses, farm fields, and hedgerows. I'll leave it up to you guys to explore. And lastly, on all the maps, except for Deadlands at the moment, you'll notice some of the houses have been changed around a little bit. This is part of the new garrison system. So certain houses in the world can now be garrisoned for 150 basic materials. When you spend the materials to garrison a house, you will now gain access to the second floor of said house. It does not act as a foxhole or a pillbox that will target enemies automatically, but it makes for an amazing fire position for regular infantry to get into. This is going to make the fight for heavily urbanized towns a lot tougher for attackers, as it should be. The next big change which I alluded to in the last update is the new factory system. So the factory system is a production system that changes around everything we know about logistics in the game. Allow me to explain. So now the way the game works is that when you take your basic materials to the armory workshops or the hospital, which are now known as the weapons factory workshops or the medical lab, you do not need to place these materials into that production building. Instead, what you need to do now is request an order. These orders come in groups as before. So for example, 100 mats will get you 10 HMGs. You can request multiple items at once, for a total of 4 items in an order. Once you accept the order, the production building will automatically take the mats out of your inventory, and will give you a time until the order is completed. Then you simply have to wait out that time, return to the factory building, and pick up your order. Only you will be able to pick up this order. No other player on your team or the enemy team will be able to pick this up. These orders now come in crates, which will then have to be taken to a distribution center, which is either the town hall or the outpost. Once you get there, all you have to do is submit the crate to the town hall inventory or the outpost inventory and submit the items to the stockpile. From there, you will be able to pick up your weapons or ammo that you've submitted. Now this might seem like a workaround to some of you, but this system is intended to reward players for being proactive about fighting instead of being reactive. So that means planning ahead for your defense or for your assaults will pay off in droves because the enemy might not have enough time to react. This will also cut down on some of the griefing when it comes to item stealing. And I think we can all agree that that's a good thing. If you want a full walkthrough, I'll leave a link down below for the video the devs posted on the new factory system. Now I did mention the outposts earlier, so let's get back to them. Outposts have been changed quite significantly. Outposts, just like town halls, now contain a stockpile system. They are also no longer able to be claimed by a coalition. Outposts will now act as a communal storage facility for your team. And as I said before, they will also now appear on your minimap, but only friendly outposts will appear. The outpost storage capacity has also been reduced from 15 to 12, seeing as most of the items will now go into the stockpile. And building costs for outposts have been changed from 250 refined materials to 350 basic materials. The last change to the logistics system has to do with trucks. From now on, transport trucks will have an advantage transferring and storing supplies from stockpiles. What I mean by this is now, if you drive transport trucks close enough to distribution centers like the town hall or the outpost, you can now access the town hall inventory or the outpost inventory directly from inside your truck without having to get out. 
The other advantages this has is that trucks can retrieve three items at a time via right clicking and dock trucks will retrieve items at twice the speed of regular foot soldiers. And now let's bring in the big guns, the howitzers. Howitzers are now the newest buildable structure in Foxhole. You don't go to the vehicle depots to build howitzers. Howitzers are meant to be a defensive, stationary artillery piece. Meant for taking down infantry, and less so for taking out vehicles or buildings. First, before you get to building your howitzer, you have to upgrade your workshop to tech level 3. Once that is done, you'll have to request an order for howitzer build kits. These howitzer build kits come in packs of 5 and will cost you 250 mats. The ammunition for howitzers is different from the ammunition in field artillery. They do, however, cost the same price. Howitzer shells cost 300 basic materials and will produce a pack of 20 howitzer shells. The stationary howitzer functions very similarly to the field artillery. You've got a 360 degree field of view and a 75 to 150 meter range. I think it's going to be very hard for players to lay siege to a town with one of these. But with a good spotter, you can definitely make an effective defense. Here are some smaller changes that were added in this week as well. Heavy machine guns can now be mounted on top of sandbags, window sills, walls, and any other low surfaces you can find. Hopefully this will pave the way for more mountable weaponry on objects. You'll just have to bear with the animations for now, but I'm sure new animations will come with the new character models at some point in the future. The developers have also implemented something known okay. as Structure Hand Decay. After a certain length of time, and I mean a long length of time, defensive structures will start to decay and eventually disappear. Like this is just simply to reduce the sheer amount of structures that get built on a map. Again, I just want to clarify, this type of decay is not something a player is likely to notice unless he's sitting in the same spot for several in-game days. And for a structure to actually be destroyed or decay completely will take even longer. Walls can also now be repaired with a hammer. You'll even see the percent health a wall has in the lower left corner. This will make it easier for players to shore up defenses when they're under attack. Some game balances include Half-track costs have increased from 115 to 130 refined materials. Field artillery ammo costs has been reduced from 20 to 15 basic materials, although these are still ordered in packs of 20. Sledgehammer numbers have been reduced from 40 to 20 per pack, and the production and stockpile retrieval times for all items have been reduced. FXAA is now used instead of TAA to reduce blurriness. Players who are waiting in the faction select screen for too long will now be kicked if the player capacity on a server has been reached. So you better make sure you pick your factions quick enough. And lastly, players now remain listed on the player screen after logging out, allowing them to be vote kicked if necessary. This is mainly to address griefers who simply cause up trouble and then leave immediately thinking that no one's going to be able to kick them. Lastly, the initial town halls at the beginning of each map will start with 100 rifles and 200 rifle ammo. There were some other bug fixes this week, but I'll leave that for the video description down below. Thanks for tuning in to this Foxhole update. Man, this was a big one, and recording this was tiresome, to say the least. If you like these updates, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest Foxhole updates. And as always, good luck, keep your heads down, and stay in your Foxholes. Bear out.